When I was in college, someone said to me that the people that know how will always work for the people that know why. And that's always resonated with me to make sure that I understood the larger picture, got to the balcony, and from every role I'm in to say, how, how am I elevating a larger story? And how is my job contributing into something bigger um, for, for the company? And so now as a CEO, it's even more fun to be that because I can help the entire team understand the why. You know, early in my career, somebody, you know, paraphrasing the Emerson quote of every person you meet is in some way superior to you. And I think I've always approached my career that way is that what can you learn from everybody that you engage with? And some of them might be great leaders that you have the opportunity to talk to. And some of them might be people on your team. Some of them might be the most junior person in the organization, but they're always going to have this perspective in which you can learn from. And I always try to, to take advantage of that, harness that and figure out what I can learn from people. And it's served me really well. The best tip that I would give is to ensure you have a board of directors. A lot of things we've talked about today, be curious, ask questions. I think having a board of directors, which is just simply a group of individuals you respect, different perspectives, different backgrounds, a sounding board. So I'm thinking of this, let's talk about this, give me advice. So I think having that board of directors really can help you make decisions, explore paths that you never thought were possible, and have a support network where you can really be open and honest about your desires and your passions. For many years, I thought I wanted to be a chief diversity officer. And all I needed to do was continue to achieve and deliver and get up to that position. And the closer that I got to it, I realized, actually, I want to do a lot more than that. That. But what I was doing was pigeonholing myself into just doing one thing. And as a result, nobody was thinking about me in a more expanded way. My mistake was thinking I could only do one without realizing I could actually do a lot more and have a lot more impact and do the work that's meaningful to me. Just be super curious and put yourself out there and get as much information as possible. You know, learn, um, ask questions, really just be there have your shiny eyes out there, be excited about it, and just ask a ton of questions all the time. I believe that the, that the biggest part of effort of a marketer isn't necessarily the getting, the getting the deck done, it's the polish and the final pieces that go into making it just right for each audience. And so the mistakes that I had all led me to make certain that I was endlessly polishing what I was thinking and how I was expressing myself.